Hello there, my name is Dan and welcome to my channel. The main purpose of my channel is to show people how to grow their own fruit and vegetables, no matter what size garden, allotment or growing space they do indeed have. So over the last few years I've been working on a partial self-sufficiency project here in Essex UK and today I'm going to be talking about a melon that I've grown. So if you like my work, please feel free to like and share. And if you'd like to be notified of any other videos that I put up, please feel free to subscribe. So this is melon variety sweet granite, which I've heard described as an Eastern cantaloupe melon or a rock melon. So released in the year 1966, bred by Professor Elwin Meader, I hope I've said that correctly, and it's a melon bred for northern, mountainous and coastal climates. So if you're living in a cooler location, this could indeed be the melon for you. So one to three pounds in size, so just to average that you could say about a kilo or so not a large melon but a nice looking one as you can see there so going to do a little taste test of this melon now all right let's see what it tastes like so that's what it looks like let's have a look nice seeds there that could be saved for next year So yes, yeah, certainly a tasty melon indeed. It has a lovely aroma as well. So they're ready from about 70 to 80 days from planting. So if you're living in, say, a far northern climate, you know, maybe Scotland, more the more northern parts of the UK, cooler parts of the UK, or indeed another country altogether, maybe Canada or a cooler part of the US, wherever, this could be a melon for you because 70 to 80 days in my opinion is quite a good space of time to get a crop of melons in so I'll show you what else I'm up to now the video will be in the description box below and on the end screen if you're more if you want to read more or learn more about what I'm growing with regards to melons but I've got another sweet granite down there if indeed I want it which I certainly will pick that in a few days so with regards to harvesting of melons, when to do it? Now this is something that can sort of um, be a little bit difficult for some people, myself included. But the thing that was great about this actually was when I came out and picked this melon this morning, it already fell off the vine. So that was really good. It was ready. And you can smell the aroma of the ready melons in this side of the polytunnel. So that's very, very handy. So if you want a low maintenance melon to grow, this could be it. And honestly, I've made very little sort of effort apart from when I planted them. I didn't self pollinate them. I just left it to the hoverflies, etc., in here by leaving the door open of the polytunnel. So yes, check that video out and you'll find it quite interesting, I think. So with regards to growing this melon here, this would really lend itself well to being grown in a small space, in a container as well. Because the melons are relatively light, you know, one to three pounds a kilo or so on average maybe, you could literally grow them in a container and have them suspended in the air like I've got here with these bitter melons, bitter gourds, otherwise known as Kerala, Empalaya, etc. And what one could do is hang like tights or something down here, which I've done before, stockings, whatever, and support them by using that in little hammocks. So you can see that bit of melon down there is coming on very well. So there you go. Two melons I can recommend you grow here in the UK. Petit Gris de Ro, which I harvested had my first one the other day. I'll be doing a taste test video of the next one I harvest so you could see that and sweet granite. So put that on your list for next year if you want to grow melons in the UK or indeed a cooler climate. We'll have another look at it.
So really one could cut these up into squares if they had enough and they could freeze them. You know, imagine if you managed to grow 20 or 30 of these, which would be possible in a relatively small space. Okay, signing out for now. If you like my work, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. And you can always check me out on Dan underscore Home Gardens on Instagram. If indeed you're interested, thank you for viewing and enjoy whatever it is you're doing. See you next time.